Good afternoon, it's Rob at Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2016 Peterbilt 579. It features a Cummins ISX 450 horsepower, it's got an Eaton automatic transmission, and it's got brand new Virgin Drive tires. I'll take you through the truck, show you some of the good and not so good things about the truck, and explain to you a little bit about the process if you happen to be watching this video in the year in the US. So you can see here, it's got some cosmetic damage here. Mechanically, it's good. It's coming with uh, no leaks, no check engine lights, serviced and ready to go with a fresh DOT, but there are some body damages that I wanna show you. So you can see here, the grill's been crunched. It's hit something, it's lined up with that hole in the bumper. We're not fixing that. Have a look here, you can see this side's pretty decent. It is missing a cover over the mirror. I'll take you to that in a minute. You've got um, Continental tires on the front here. They're going to be in and around the 50-60%. Certified clean idle for California. Have a look here, you'll see we've got missing a mirror cover. Uh, you've got the batteries in there, which is a nice feature, easy to get at. Oh, almost forgot. We've got our engine block heater and shore power, so you can plug the truck in. Um, and you can run all the accessories on the inside of the truck. It has the Bendix collision mitigation system. It has a sensor in the bumper as well as an indicator on the passenger A pillar. And it'll just show you if there's something in your blind spot when you are turning your signal. Having a look here, you can see it's bumped something. We have some parts missing out of the hood. And we get a little bit of a mismatch of the alignment of the hood and the fender and a bit of a scrape here, okay? This is misaligned here too. Might need, I'm just taking a look. Looks like the fairing is pushed down slightly and maybe the step is pushed up a bit. Having a look here, there's no body damage on the panel. Okay, missing a CB antenna. Looking over here, we've got brand new Virgin Drive tires. Outside aluminum, so polished outside aluminum wheels, 11R225, inside steel, Holland 3500, sliding fifth wheel. It's got about six inches of movement, uh, maybe more closer to nine inches of movement. Have a look here. We've got standard axles, 40,000 pound axles, uh, drum brakes on the back. Disc brakes on the front were standard for all Peterbilts in 2016. Aluminum cross crossmembers in good shape. <clears throat> Have a look here. We've got the Peterbilt low leaf air suspension, four pivots, four airbags. Okay, we've got a standard power divider lock on here. So if you look, you'll, well, you can't really see it. It's covered in snow, but we've got the lock for that. Okay, we've got dual 100 gallon fuel tanks. Looks like the end of the fairing extender is missing here. That little piece that would normally cover off the end of the tank. Actually, there's a little bit of it left over there. Have a look in here. We've got power inverter. We've got a stereo subwoofer. And we've got a bunk heater. Okay, two beds with a brand new mattress inside. Okay, I'll get, I'll get to the engine in a minute. I just want to take you inside, give you a quick look around here. So we've got the platinum interior. We've got our multi-way adjustable seat. Okay, so you've got adjustable lumbar uh, and there's two spots in the back where it adjusts. Uh, you'll see here, it complies with federal emissions. It complies with federal DOT. And we've got power locks, mirrors, and windows, heated mirrors as well. Okay, we've got 899,000 miles. Let's get it started up. Okay, so we're gonna sell this truck. It's gonna come with a warm heater, it runs and shifts good. I'm gonna do a very quick spin around the, uh, up and down the road, but we'll just get a quick look at everything inside of here first. So we've got, um, what do we got? About a little over a quarter tank of fuel, def is full, engine temperature, it's almost fully warmed up now. That'll be good for when we do our blow-by. Uh, take the oil filler cap just to show you the blow-by. You've got your cruise control, your engine brake controls are here. It does have uh, Bluetooth audio. Uh, have a look here, traction control, suspension dump, sliding fifth wheel, diff lock. Okay, and we've got the heat is on now. It's blowing nice and warm, which is good. 
Um, we've got some damage here. The front end of the cup holder is missing, but it does come out and hold the cup. It doesn't necessarily push back in. Okay, we've got the cup holder on the floor. We've got another very good condition seat here. Uh, the one thing I do like about the Peets, they have um, LED lighting throughout. So let's turn on some LED lighting. So we've got two beds, two mattresses. So that's a split folding mattress. Uh, the roof here is probably six foot five high. So definitely enough room for two full size adults. Have a look over here. So we've got an S-bar bunk heater control and we've got the inverter control and then we've got your rear HVAC controls. Secure storage over here, secure storage up top along with uh, some uh, curtains. Inside of here we've got a pull-out table. Looks like it's kind of loose on the track. Have a look here. We've got more secure storage. Okay, over on this side here, we've got a flat screen television mount, a mirror, cupboard door with a clothes rack. We've got a refrigerator. Not sure if it's cold. Hopefully it's off. Yeah, it's off. Not sure if it works, but it has a fridge. Secure storage at the back there. Let's pop up the bed. Both shocks are working, that's good. Again, your stereo subwoofer, your bunk heater, and your factory HVAC controls. Let's just go for a quick spin around the block and see how it drives and shifts. I'll be uh, doing that right after. We'll just have a quick look under the hood, see what's going on with the blow-by, and have, let you have a listen to the engine. Let's go for a spin, see how it drives. and you happen to be watching this video our price includes delivery to Buffalo we supply you with the paperwork required to convert the title from Canada to US and if you're in Canada our price will include an emissions test so it'll pass the emissions are not deleted they're connected and fully functioning so let's have a look here how we're doing you'll notice it's a dual speedometer so we've got miles is in the small on the inside and kilometers are on the large scale. We'll take it up to about 80 kilometers an hour. Let's see it going through all the gears. And then we should be uh, give you a good idea that this is a good running truck. So this is, I believe, a 16 speed. We'll confirm that shortly. The 16 speed was set up for better fuel economy. So if you watch the shifts, you'll see there isn't that big of a drop in the, R excuse me, in the RPMs. And that's what the 16 speed does. It keeps the, the uh, engine shifts within a tighter range. So you don't lose so much RPM, which means you don't lose 
turbo boost and power and you obviously get better fuel economy as a result. So there we are, we are in 15, about to hit 16. shorter and you'll see it'll start to break the trunk so it's slowing down and it won't let me run into the back so it's actually reducing the speed of the truck to pace off of the vehicle in front very nice feature especially for stop and go especially if you have a automatic transmission so even though we're set for 53 miles an hour is our cruise set speed we're only doing about 47, and that's because the vehicle in front of us is doing 47. So I'm going to slow down for this turn. Try the engine brake. Let's see how that's working. And you can see it's going. And you'll see here we've got working power windows. Our mirrors are working. And the truck, for all intents and purposes, is a good working truck at a price point. It's just got a lot of bumps and bruises, and uh, we're not prepared to go and fix all the bodywork. So you can, if you can live with the bodywork that's on the truck, the way that it is, then you've got yourself a good working truck. So if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call. It's area code 289-259-6054. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales. Bye for now.